Now to the surge of violence along the U.S. border with Mexico causing a shelter-in-place order for U.S. diplomatic staff in Tijuana following an earlier travel advisory to all Americans. ABC's Morgan Norwood joins us with more from Los Angeles. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning to you, Eva. We're talking about widespread arson, violent shootings. The list goes on, and officials there say that all of this is tied to gang activity. So a very concerning situation, and it's why the U.S. consulate in Tijuana has issued a shelter in place for its employees until further notice. And the U.S. State Department is asking you to reconsider any travel plans to Baja, California this summer. Officials say all of this, again, stemming from gang wars. They're targeting stores, cars, and innocent bystanders. So far, reports of at least 24 cars hijacked and burned in different areas throughout Baja, California. Things, though, especially escalating around Tijuana, which, of course, borders California. A major drug corridor, now a battleground for these rival cartels. This morning, the mayor of Tijuana is considering bringing in reinforcement up to 3,000 National Guard soldiers. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.